Okay, good morning. Happy Sunday. I had some dishes over there drying overnight, right? I picked them up and I walked over and I opened the refrigerator door to put the plates in the refrigerator. It's going to be a day, y'all. Happy, happy, happy Sunday. Plates in the cabinet where they belong, not in the refrigerator. Oh, I thought I had no slam cabinets. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. I didn't know my own strength. I slammed a no slam cabinet. I'll slam a drawer. Don't look in my drawers. <laughs> I'm delirious. I'll be back. Good morning again. It's, well, it's 11 o'clock now, and it's 49 degrees and raining, so we're not going to be out walking and making a video. Isn't that right, Penelope? Oh, someone asked me yesterday what that was in front of the basket, and I couldn't figure out what she was talking about, but that's a treat. Ugh! I'm down in a hole. Ugh! <laughs> um, I can guarantee you that this is worse or equal to stepping on a Lego. Yeah, those little sharp things. Yeah, I bought them a long time ago, probably when Charlie was still here. Charlie would start chewing on them and then Penny would finish them. It was kind of like when my when I was a kid and my mom would put the cinnamon gum in her mouth and she would chew all the hot out. And then she said, I, I mean, I was little, little. She said I would take my little finger and dig it in her mouth and steal her gum. And I would ask, did you chew the hot out? And then I would put it in my mouth and finish chewing it. I mean, the thought of that now makes me a little nauseous. But whatever. But that's what I did. Yeah. So anyway, that's what Charlie and Penelope would do. And um, now she won't even eat them. So I'm going to find someone whose dog will eat them. Perhaps Rosemary. Lord knows she needs something to do besides push her ball around. <laughs> I've got a video I'm going to insert of her pushing her ball around. And I have sped it up so that it's not quite as long. It's only a couple of minutes long. But it's cute, man. She's crazy with that ball. Another thing, you don't have to worry about the cats because those cats have all the claws and they do uh, take care of themselves. They tolerate Rosemary for the most part. They just let her do whatever, but if she pulls their tail or if she gets them, oh, they get her back, trust me. And they have plenty of safe places. They have a kitty door in the door that goes to the basement, and that's where all their toys and their litter box and their food and everything is set up. So the cats have their own safe space. Yeah, so I'm gonna insert that little video and then I'm gonna come back and talk about something else. Very exciting. Probably not. That's what blew off the top of her house. Where's your ball? You need me to help you? Let's get it out from there. Come on, let's get it out from there. All right, you ready? <laughs> What's the matter? Is he stuck? It's not stuck. what she does in the house. She gets it in a corner and gets it stuck. There you go. Good job, baby. Good job.
Where'd you go? Where'd you go? You're a pretty girl. Yes, you are. Are you going to tell her? Tell her what it's all about. Huh? Oh, is your ball stuck? You don't care about the cat. You care about your ball, don't you? Oh, you ready? You ready? Here we go. Here we go. You ready? Oh, boy, that was a good one. You're going to get it stuck. But... Girl. Okay. All right. Good job. <laughs> Uh-oh. You stuck. Come on. Really? Really? Are you jealous? Yeah? Now then. <laughs> okay, so the next part of this story is going to be about natural selection. When I went to Yellowstone, there were signs and warnings everywhere about not getting out of your vehicle near the bison because you could be gored. Now, if you don't know what gored is, perhaps then you don't understand the severity of the word, but it basically means you're about to be deceased, okay? That means that the horns on the bison are going to be entering your body and as you are flying through the air with the greatest of ease you're going to be bleeding from these orifices that have now appeared in your body from the bison that's basically a redneck definition of goring okay but people on tiktok get out of their vehicles young girls I mean, girls old enough to know better, not young girls, young women, I should say. They're old enough to know better. Running over and standing over the bison who's laying down, doing their little TikToks and doing all this silly stuff. And I'm like, did you not read all the warnings? <sighs> okay, uh, another example was... A news article popped up on my phone this morning from a beloved town in North Carolina, Asheville, Buncombe County. Some people saw some bear cubs in a tree and they decided that it would be a great idea to go pull the little bear cubs out of the tree and take selfies with them, take pictures with them, holding the bear cubs. Now, thankfully for them, Mama must have been out foraging for some food for her babies, or they would have all been deceased. But one of the bear cubs bit one of the idiots that was holding the cub, and I guess at that point, he or she, I think it was a she, dropped the cub and the cub took off running and was not reunited. Reunited and it feels so good. Was not reunited with his siblings in the tree. So now that sibling has been thankfully found before it starved to death in a, a ravine or something i can't a water retention area or something and has been relocated to a wildlife habitat so mama bear has lost one of her cubs the um department of natural resources did not charge them but um yeah where there's a cub there's a mama okay so they were very lucky because nothing that's why they make all the mama bear shirts because Nothing will decease you faster than a mama bear 
when you come near her cubs, okay? Let this sink in, boys and girls. Now, they're adorable. Yes, they are. But leave them be. Let them live out their lives in the forest with their mama like they're meant to. Um, but because of the actions of these idiots, now one of them and is the one of them size visiting this morning. That's a fact, Jack. One of them is now living its life out in a reserve, animal reserve. Mm. And also, just in case you're not aware, if you get attacked by a bear, even if it's your own dumb fault, guess what? The bear now has to be deceased. Yeah. Because you're a I'm just gonna say it, you're a dumbass, okay? And now the bear has got to be put down because you wouldn't leave it be. That's all I got to say about that. Just leave the wildlife where the wildlife belongs and watch them, okay? That's all you gotta do. Unless you're rescuing a squirrel from a tree that you cannot get it back up in the tree 100 feet in the air, okay? So, anyway, that's going to be the end of part one. What is wrong with me, one? And, uh, yeah, I'll be back later with a part two, I suppose. Toodles! Well, I think this here is what you call Blackberry Winter. Mm-hmm, that's what we call it down here. Blackberry Winter. Because every time something goes into bloom, like... When the dogwoods went into bloom, it was dogwood winter. Well, now the blackberries, and I'm just speaking of my general area, because Carolyn told me this morning, her blackberries ain't blooming. She's further north. Her dogwoods is blooming. <clears throat> but our dogwoods done bloomed, so our blackberries now have blooms on them. So we's in a uh, blackberry winter. And that's your lesson for today about this here weird southern weather that we're having. I think we'll have a couple of more cold spells. I don't really know what to call them. <laughs> There's like nine different uh, winters, I think, uh, when different trees bloom. Mm -hmm. But all I know is right now it's just blackberry. For those of you who don't know, that's garlic cloves, garlic blooms, I'm sorry, it's garlic blooms, isn't it lovely, isn't she lovely, and this here is onions, onion blooms, ain't that pretty, Penny is, she's on the hunt for something, man. She's taking me all around the world. Well, it's a cold and rainy day. I'm glad yesterday was nice because I got a lot done yesterday. But when it's cold and rainy, I don't want to do nothing. Are y'all the same way? Ugh. But I do need to go to the grocery store. I mean, I'm not at uh, DEF CON 1 or 3, whichever's the worst. I don't know. I'm not to DEF CON 2, we'll just go in the middle yet, but I do need the stuff to make the strawberry stuff, but it might have to wait. You know what I'm saying? Penny's doing her business, so I'll be back. Good afternoon. First, I would like to tell you that thanks to Sharon, I have found a new show to watch. Perhaps some of you have told me to watch it but I was probably in the middle of something else. Anyway, it's New Amsterdam on Netflix and I am loving it. Yes, very interesting. I, I don't know, I think I'm still in the first or second episode and I already like it. So that's saying a lot. Let me get a sip, please stand by. First of all, um, I need to stay off of TikTok, okay? Second of all, can somebody please tell me that I do not need another Bible. I don't. I have a lot of them, okay? But 
This one is a spiral Bible. And it's a journaling Bible. So you have room to write. And it's pink. Not that I'm a big fan of pink, but it's pretty. It's pretty. It's got like a leather cover and spiral bound. The only thing is the writing looks like it's about that big. So I'm not so sure about that. Because just thinking about that gives me a little bit of a headache, you know? I need to stay off of TikTok. I mean, I don't order it. I'm, I mean, you can order it from TikTok. TikTok has a shop. TikTok shop is what it called. What it called. TikTok shop is what it's called. And I have ordered from the TikTok shop. It's not as scary as ordering from Facebook. Because... Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't even know why I said because. But they sell it on Amazon. You just look up Day Spring Spiral Bible and it comes up. It's 60 something dollars. I don't need another Bible. I have a lot. How many is too many? Now for some useless information. Did you know that dolphins give each other names? I have so many questions about this. The first question is, one, how do you know that they give each other names? Two, what kind of names? I mean, is it just like, is a name? Or are they actually saying, yo, Lucille? I mean, really, how do they know they're giving them names, and what are the names? I watched a TikTok yesterday, speaking of TikTok, and there was a, it was a, it was a comedian, and this person was in the lobby, in the lobby. I've got a headache, so I can't think straight, okay? This woman was in the audience, and she laughed like a dolphin. She did. She very much sounded like a dolphin. He picked on her the whole time because she sounded like a dolphin too, you know? Don't go to a comedy show and sit down front if you don't want to be picked on. I went to a comedy show one time and our leader, may he rest in peace, was always so embarrassed of us and the things we did and we sat down front and someone actually told the comedian to pick on him. <laughs> Oopsie. But y'all want to know one of the funniest things that someone did to him? It was not me. They came in and they took his... So, he drove a unmarked Crown Vic. That's a car, a Crown Vic. A Crown Victoria. They took the keys to his Crown Vic and they moved his car from his parking space to the chief's parking space. And then they went back inside and they put that key right, right back where they got it from. So he never missed it. Well, the chief was in on it, unbeknownst to him. And when she got there, she called him. And she said, Major, is it your habit to park in my parking space? And he was like, what? And she said, your car is parked in my parking space. And I suggest you get down here right now and get it out of my parking space. Why would you start parking in my parking space? And he was like, I didn't park in your parking space. And about that time, you could hear the sergeants all gathered around in the lobby that what they were listening in because they knew the call was about to come in they all busted out laughing and that major he turned so red he was so mad <laughs> I mean he laughed it off later but you know she was in on it so she didn't really get on to him but they yeah they picked on him something fierce because he could take it he was a little uh short guy from New Jersey who tried to tell us all we couldn't talk, but he said, library, the library. 
I said, it's not library. He said, bet me. I said, bet me. It's library. There's two R's, library. And y'all know I don't correct people on, yes, I do. But, I mean, still, it's not library. L-I-E-B-E-R-R-Y, library. It's library. L-I-B-R-A-R-Y, library. He said, you check the Funkin' Wagnalls. I said, you check the Webster's, okay? It's library. Mm. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Oh, once I drop my phone, she's hiding her face. I don't know. I'm, I'm being held captive by my dog. Mm. There's worse, worse things that could happen than being held captive by my dog. But anyway, that's going to be it. Remember, I love you. Jesus loves you. Hope he's coming back soon because people be crazy. And I will talk to you on the next Tracy Tries, which will probably be tomorrow. Good Lord willing. Okay. Toodles, my noodles, and stay silly, my friends. Goodbye.